This is the morning office for March 12th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 46, verses 1 to 8. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be overthrown. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations make much ado, and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east, and the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by the way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured one thousand cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into Araba. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live and there will be very many fish once these waters reach there. It will become fresh, and everything will live where the river goes. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought on silence for today begins with a comment that one of my colleagues made recently when we were having a clergy meeting. He said, silence and sound are not a binary system. In other words, it's not just one or the other. It's not as if those are the only two options. I find in that a certain encouragement 
the idea that silence can somehow germinate in the midst of noise. Certainly for most of us, it's very difficult even to imagine approaching anything like true and sustained silence. Most of us can manage a few fleeting moments of quiet in between the noise and confusion of our lives. The image that comes to me for, for some reason for this doesn't even relate necessarily to sound, but rather to plants growing up through pavement. I'm sure you have seen parking lots that have been abandoned. And over time, plants somehow find a way to push up through cracks in the parking lot and begin to reclaim it. That, I think, is kind of what happens in our lives, that the silence has to break through the uh, solid wall of noise that tries to cover it over and keep it down. And yet, somehow, God will find a way. Nature will find a way. The silence will push through if only we will offer a few little cracks in which that might happen. I ask your prayers for the day, the world, and for the church. Pray to those, pray today for those who have addictions, those who struggle with the false gods that try to control their lives in the form of one substance or another. Pray that they will have a breakthrough of, of mercy from God a new vision of how their lives can be restored, how they can be made whole. I ask your prayers also for the world, that peace will reign, those places where leaders are addicted to violence, addicted to oppression. There will be a new birth of freedom. And for the church, that it also will let go of those things that hold it back, those bits of, of worldliness to which it is addicted, that it may serve God more freely and more fully. O God, with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Quench our thirst with living water, and flood our darkened minds with heavenly light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.